what he did when he came out here. But the, the thing is, what's so frustrating is Jack, just with just a few words, was able to get this this crowd, this Mountain crowd, who hates him, hates his guts. He had them cheering for him and behind him with just a few words. That just shows the charisma this guy has and how popular he could be with this audience. But he's just such a freaking jerk that that's just not going to happen. Yeah, yeah, the bad cool. part is it makes the guys around him, they feed off of that energy and it takes them to a different level of jerkiness, just like these guys right here. When it comes to the fighters club, I think there's a little bit of jealousy from the guys because at fight night, Clara actually Jada Stone stole the show. Oh, she, she outclassed all the guys. And now they got to live up to her. And I think they got a little chip on their shoulder from being outshined by her. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be a bit surprised. Uh, you know, I said. Uh, uh, on the podcast uh, just last week that if Clara truly wants the respect of the, of the, uh, of the crowd like she said she does, she's going to have to pull away her, pull herself away from the fighters club to prove that she can uh, that she can fight on her own. I believe she can. I believe all these guys can. I believe they can all exactly. can compete at the top level on their own without any backup but until they prove that Today, the 
Same thing. Even though we won't go there, we don't. That's so good. Oh, oh, goodness. Oh, what a good yeah. toss into oh. a net. Into a net. Again, I'll say it. I've said it once. I'll say it again. Every member of the Fighters Club is a very talented professional wrestler. They're all talented athletes, different athletes who could go at it on their own, but they choose to use each other as a crutch. And in the end, it's going to be a detriment to them. It was a detriment to them at War Games, and it's going to, it's in, the, in, in the end, it's going to cost them. But you gotta admit, though, they are a cohesive unit when they're together. They, 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 they are a cohesive unit right now, but however, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. Good. Right this could be it right here. He's, oh, it's a two count. Two. He was glassy eyed right yeah. there. He was, I don't he was, even know how he kicked it's, out. It's just that, it's it's that instinct. Yeah. When you hear that too, and you just automatically start start flailing, getting your shoulders off of the mat. My goodness. I mean, you two have been in that before. When you're in that position, does it give you an extra adrenaline shot when you know you got you need it right there? Or does it just kick you in the or what? Well, it, it just depends on the situation. Sometimes it's adrenaline. What a spinning roundhouse, my favorite. The Fighters Club survive. They, they are, they are, as of right now, Oh, a, a fine oil machine, a cohesive unit. Yes, However, they need to look back in the history of professional wrestling, see how many factions stay together. See, it's only a matter of time before egos start clashing, before somebody's saying, hey, maybe I should be the leader. Hey, I've got good ideas. Why don't we do what oh, I think? He got the shot. implodes and turns on each other. And it's just a matter of time before that happens to the Fighters Club, and, but they're completely blind to it. Right now, they think it's going to last forever. They're always going to have each other's backs, but I'm telling you, it's just not, that's just not going to happen. You might, you might think, oh, it's going to be different for us. That's what everybody thinks. With the family. That's why my later iteration is. Exactly right. Worst of course. 